Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well there's some pretty big news today. Divi's just released an update of the Visual Builder here and they've added some amazing scroll effects. I've just literally done this in a couple of seconds. This first one I've added a fade effect, the second one I've added a blur effect. So if I start scrolling, see that top one fading out? And the bottom one's blurred and you can have it unblurring as it goes up. That next section we've got a bit of vertical scrolling going on there. And the one below that we've got some scaling going on. And the other one below that is completely upside down. We've got some rotation going on there. And you can create some amazing effects. I haven't put any time in this. I have just found out about this update and was just playing with it. I thought I'd share it with you. So let's take a look at another page and do some. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. I've got it running here already. And let's add some of these. OK, here's our first section. What do we want to do with this? Let's go into the actual row. You can do it on a, a section. You can do it on a row. You can do it on individual modules. You can really get creative with it. So let's go into the, the row for this example. And you want to go over to your advanced tab and there it is at the bottom of the advanced tab the scroll effects and you've got vertical motion horizontal motion fading in and out scaling up and down rotating and blurring and you can mix you can have more than one you can mix and match these effects as much as you want so what do we want to do with this let's have this sort of blur out I suppose as it goes up the screen we can't do much else with it because it, it's 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 kind of at the top so here's our blur module or I guess we could have it we'll use a fade instead of a blur It'll probably be more dramatic so I've clicked on the left clicked on the fade one I'm going to flip the little switch to enable fade what you want to do is just scroll it up not a lot's happening there and here's if we look down at our settings here ending opacity is 100% which is fully visible really I want the ending opacity to be zero because I want it to be sort of invisible as it goes up the top there so let's change that to zero now let's see what happens as you can see it fades out as it's going off the page at the top there so I think that's all I'm going to do. You can change this by moving these little arrows and it changes the sort of the time it takes to sort of blur out is in this little section right here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a bit slower to fade out that time. Let's put it back down because I want it full opacity right there and then as we go up the page it can start blurring there we go that's fine so I'm gonna leave that exactly there for that one all right let's do this row right here so again I'm gonna go into the row over to advanced this time let's do a horizontal scroll on that perhaps select the one you want to use enable it at the moment that's not where I want it to be so it's zero when it's in the middle and it's plus four at the top so I really want it to be zero for a bit wider than that I want it to be zero most of the way on the page bottom of the page it can come in from one side that's fine as it's doing there I'm gonna make that a little more dramatic let's make that say eight yeah, you can see that's actually rolled it off the page. And we'll make it minus 8 at the top end as well. So it should roll the other way. So at the bottom, it's going to be there. When we get it to the middle, it's going to be centralized. When we move it on up, it should start rolling to the left. There we go. Simple as that. And like I say, you can, you can add different effects you can have more than one on each one but I'm trying to keep this very simple so let's save that let's go down to this next section here so we'll go into the section this time like I say you can do it on sections rows individual modules advanced scroll effects 
Let's actually use a bit of blur this time. I know we threatened to last time. So there's the blow. Blur. I'm going to enable it. And I want it to be out of focus at the bottom. That's fine. I want it to come into focus about there. Stay there until it's about there. And then start going out again. So 10% focus at the bottom. That's pretty blurry as you can see. And that's kind of how I want it to go out. So I'm going to put 10% at the top as well. And as you can see, when you put in 10, it blurs out at the top there and it's in focus right in the middle and it blurs out at the bottom. I think it's blurring a little too quick. Let's just take the 0% value up to about 70%. So it's going from 40% of the screen up to about 70% of the screen. That should just make it clearer for a bit longer. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. OK, fantastic. Let's move down to this next section. Here we go. What do I want to do with it? I guess I'll go on the row again. Let's flip this row. I'm going crazy with this. Like I say, spend a bit of time with it and you can get some fantastic effects. So I'm going to actually use uh, rotate this time for this one. I'm going to enable it. And let's have a look, see, 90 degrees. So that's it starting off at 90 degrees there. It's going to come up to there. And it's zero at the top again. So let's see, let's do sort of full circle. What if I put minus 90 at the top? And there we go. So it starts off that way around, and in the middle it's the right way around, and at the top it's spinning out again. But what I don't want is I don't want it showing over above this row. I want it to sort of go underneath that row so this doesn't stick out on top. So let's use a bit of Z index for that and see if we can fix it. So let's just save what I've got here. Now let's go into this section above it. I'll see if I can give it a higher Z index to make that disappear behind it. So we'll go, I'm on advanced in the section settings, position, down at the bottom, there's a Z index. What if I type in something like 50? Let's try that. No, nope. yeah, that's put it behind it. Fantastic just what I wanted. So let's save that. Now when we scroll that thing's still spinning but it's not overlapping our section above. There we go, fantastic. Might want it to stay a little more stable right in the middle there. If I can get it. <laughs> there we go. Let's go to advance and make that middle section just stay there a little bit longer. We had rotate. So I just want to broaden this a little bit so the zero level just stays there a bit longer. And then we've got it from 40% to 70%. Again, it's pretty much exactly what we had before. So 40% about there, 70% about there. So it should stay horizontal between that area. Let's try it. There we go, we're at the bottom, rolling up. There we go, and it's still horizontal, then it should start flipping. There we go. Fantastic, just what I wanted. Okay, we pretty much covered most of these. Like I say, you can do various different effects with it. Um, and you can do it on individual modules themselves and make crazy things. Let's go for this image and perhaps scale it at the top. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to scroll effects. And I want scale. Enable scaling up and down. Okay. Bottom, that's fine. I just want it to scale in. But when it goes up, I want it to get crazy. So I'm going to say 150%. When it gets up the top, but I don't want it 150% at 
until it gets quite high. So let's roll that up. Let's put this on this side so we can see what's going on. And she's getting bigger as she goes up. And then it's going to scale out crazy. There we go. So it'll scale out crazy. I'll bring that down a little bit. I'll scale it out a little bit before that, perhaps. And we have it fade right at the end as well. So it sort of scales up and then fades out. Like I say, you can put multiples on, you can get really creative with this. So let's go to our fade. There's the fade. Let's enable it. I really only want it to fade at the top. So opacity zero at the bottom. I'm going to put that to 100% because I want to be able, well, let's have a look. Sort of faded in there, but I want it to be full opacity by about there. So let's pull this left arrow down just a little bit. That's almost there. So it's going to be full opacity between these areas. And then when it get, gets above 75% say, let's put that to zero. It should start fading out if we do that. Okay, so we're at the bottom, it's sort of fading in and growing. And as we get up to the top, it should grow and fade. I don't know if I want to get it to fade just a little bit before there. So let's take this down a little bit. We're on the fade, oh yeah, we can start fading from there. So bottom, fade in, full opacity, growing, growing on the way out should fade there we go fantastic like i say this has been a very quick example of it get in there dig in play around and you'll be getting some amazing effects let's just save this let's save our changes and like i said i've not put a thought a lot of thought into this today if i was doing this for real you'd want to make it pretty artistic this is just for demonstration purposes and it's a little crazy just to demonstrate what some of these things can do so this is what we got. First one fades out. Second one sort of horizontally slides in. Third one's a, a blur one. If I put it back down the bottom, I forgot about that. Like I say, you can adjust where you want it to be in focus with those little sliders. That's brilliant. And there's our rotating completed project section. And down below, we've got this image scaling in and then fading out. Like I say, a little crazy, but there you have it. I think that's a fantastic new feature, Divi. Well done, Elegant Themes. Of course, uh, I'm using the Divi theme here. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.